I am going to speak on anemia in diabetes mellitus. We know that diabetes has become a pandemic globally and the incidence of diabetes and pre-diabetes has been increasing enormously. The neglected part which has not been taken care and discussed in so far many meetings is the anemia in diabetes. We know that in our country rural population is more, many women are diabetic and many of our patients are anemic with hemoglobin of less than 10 grams per deciliter. But still we have seen that in anemia particularly we have to think of few causes like iron deficiency anemia, B12 deficiency anemia and drug induced anemia and many of the long standing diabetic patients are having the diabetic kidney disease and anemia is causing the heart failure and stress on the heart muscles increasing the heart load and the progression of the kidney disease has been more in the anemic diabetic patients. So it is early recognition, early diagnosis and early treatment of anemia will save the heart and kidney of a diabetic patient. How do you recognize it? You know that in anemia many patients are having the malaise, easy fatigability and extreme weakness. Sometimes in a severe anemia patients do present with the pedal edema, paler and sometimes breathlessness, sometimes even the whole body swelling like the anasarca. So if we diagnose anemia early, find out the cause, exclude the other causes of anemia like a warm infestation in the rural India and use of the antiplatelet drugs like the aspirin and clopidogrel which causes the gastrointestinal bleeding and the drug interactions like autoimmune disease patients may be taking the methotrexate, the folate deficiency and the commonly used drug the metformin which causes the B12 deficiency and other causes of the nutritional deficiency intake. So first of all we have to give the oral iron replacement then the parenteral iron replacement and erythropoietin substitution can be given in the form of the erythropoietin and the latest EPO stimulants can be given. If not, if the patient is having very low hemoglobin and if the patient is symptomatic, we have to go for the packed RBC transfusion. Each and every modality of the treatment will be having the risk and we have to weigh the risk and benefit ratio to treat the anemia in a diabetic patient.